pink Barbie dreams and I'm the dream maker. I play with my dolls and tings the pink maker. I got the dolls to stay glammed up. So hop in my Barbie coupe and stand up. I'm Jewel Dream and these my dream dolls. If you don't like the dream, then just dream on. This is the space for love, light, and play. So welcome to my channel. It's the dream way. Hey, what's up, y'all? Bitch, if you still in doubt, and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still want to party. I feel like I'm ready to run. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Boy. What's up, y'all? It's Jewel Dream Doll, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for being a dreamer. Okay, y'all. So, welcome to the Fashion Fever Hall, the Fashion Fever Fashion Avenue Hall that you didn't know you needed. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, as you can see, I cut my hair. Um, I just needed something new. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know I be going through. <laughs> I just needed something new. I'm, all my friends was like, oh, I'm going to miss the curls, but I really do like that you cut your hair. So, you know, a little new look for y'all, period. I got this new Barbie shirt at Target. So if you guys want to go get a Barbie shirt, it's in the men's section, but y'all know me. I really don't care. I wear, this is a women's jacket from Walmart. Men's shirt. I don't care. If it looks good on you and you can wear it, who cares? Um, You know, I don't want to put my middle finger up, but you know, mm, socialization. But, um... <laughs> But um, it was $14 too, by the way. So go get you one because it is super cute. They have a lot of um, like I'm Ken enough, like Mean Girls, like Pinky, like a lot of pink stuff. Y'all know I love pink. They got Hello Kitty there. I was almost about to get a Hello Kitty shirt, but I didn't really like how it looked on me. And I was like, mm, I might get it though, just for my channel because I like the aesthetic, like it fits my aesthetic. So I might get it because I do have that Kurumi hoodie that you guys be seeing me wearing. But without, welcome back to the, you know, welcome to the um, Fashion Fever, Fashion Avenue, Barbie um, Street, Barbie Trend, and one random Barbie pack <laughs> video. Um, I got some dolls to show you guys. Um, I already opened that I thrifted, no, that I found online for a discounted price that were like Holy Grail dolls. Um, I have some Fashion Fashion Avenue or these Fashion Avenue. Some just some Barbie fashions that I'm gonna be trying on one of my dolls for you guys. And then I got some Fashion Fever, Fashion Avenue, Barbie City Trends packs that I'm gonna show you guys that I'm not necessarily ready to take out of the package yet. So it will be more like a show and tell video. I got like three outfits to try out on a doll. And yeah, so without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. This is one of the videos that I had already pre-planned for you guys. You guys know I'm a Capricorn, so I tend to like plan things in advance. Like I fall into that stereotype of Capricorns who overwork themselves. So when you plan things in advance and you plan so many things in advance, I have so many videos already planned out in my head. And then you kind of take a break and you come back to them. You kind of forget how you was going to go about them. So this morning I was like, <laughs> I was like racking my brain. Like, how am I going to go about this video? Like it took me a minute to kind of like, figure out like the way I wanted to do it but now that I got it we're gonna jump right into the video so yeah let's get into it period and we're back <laughs> I'm I'm really goofy today you guys my throat's been hurting so I'm gonna try to really do this kind of quick but I still want to give y'all like a entertaining well put together thorough video so let's get into it so first we're going to talk about the dolls that i found on ebay i can't really remember how much everything costs because i got this stuff months ago y'all know i took a little a break so i got this stuff like months ago so i might you know put the prices at top like i do sometimes to show you guys like how much all this stuff came to because i did buy all this stuff together at one time yeah so y'all know i like to spend a lot at one time then i won't spend it all so that's kind of like how i get things how i do things i splurge and then i stop splurge stop mm -mm little motion but okay so first dolls first first things first first dolls first um if you don't know i have like a barbie swimmings collection so i have like a lot of swim dolls playland dolls from the old days new days that i guess you would consider like you know they're in bathing suits what do you call it like you know like swimming dolls like beach dolls you know swimming themed dolls so on my holy grail list of course i needed christy um what line is this y'all is this like not the summer vacation line. <laughs> um, I forgot what doll this is out off the top of my, my brain. You guys can see I'm a little scattered today, but and I'm like super goofy, but um 
because I have a Florida Swamp Christy, and I know this is not her, but she's one of the Christies that I've been wanting for a long time. Is this like a Cali Girl line? No, I have the Cali Girl line. What what line? What is this? I came unprepared. But <laughs> but I love this Chrissy doll, y'all. She's so cute. Um, she has one of the older face sculpts that I love. I love the knitted bra. Oh, this is butter butterfly art tattoo. Thank thanks, girl. Cause I seen the tattoo and I was like, I know it has something to do with tattoos. Okay, so this is the butterfly art um Christy, butterfly art tattoo Barbie. Um, she's got the knitted um you know, bralette on, some knitted panties under here, period. Look at the body. Look at the face. Look at the hair. I love this quality hair. So, ooh, look at that. Come on now. I whip my hair back and forth. Just with it. <laughs> OMG. So, this is Christy. She is so pretty, y'all. Look, she looks like she's smiling. She's like, mm, I'm content. I love my owner. Yes period bad and bougie but <laughs> she reminds me of to be honest she kind of reminds me of jt from the city girls i'm a city girl bit mm -hmm. period so i love the outfit i love the knits i love the butterfly tattoo right in the chest um this actually came like this so that's cute because you know i think they came with tattoos originally as you can see, I got mine out of the package, out the box. I think I got this doll for like maybe like nine or ten dollars. I remember it was a steal because usually she goes for like maybe 40, 30. You can find her for a good deal. This is like a doll that you can actually find for a good deal. But like people do be trying to overcharge her because of course she's the African American one. And two, just these dolls have been out for a while. And I think a lot of people like to collect this whole collection because actually all the dolls in this collection are very pretty i want all of them it's christy kira and barbie so instead of like the usual black um hispanic white they did black um kira's asian asian like asian american and white so oh no they had a teresa too i think but the best looking one i think this is the one line teresa kind of like just didn't catch my attention because i always tell people the most consistent face of Barbie has been Teresa. Teresa been a bad, like she been pretty the whole time. Like Teresa's face kind of looks the same. Like they they started messing with Teresa's face like in 2000. That's because they was messing with everybody's face for around 2000. <laughs> but Teresa had the longest standing, fa longest standing face. Like you see Barbie changed her face a lot. Christy changed her face a lot. But Teresa's had that same big forehead, pretty, pretty. Like she was always like, argumentatively the prettiest one and her face kind of just stayed the same but i do love all the all the different chrissy sculpts all the different barbie sculpts so i love that so i really wanted this one because i love this face sculpt she's like the third face sculpt that i have of her and i really just like this style of dolls very y2k very my aesthetic so it was about time i got this girl so yeah we gonna move on from her Okay, so this is the next doll that I found out the box. This is a Fashion Fever Kayla. So in my last video, I was talking to you guys about the Kayla slash Leah face. So this is actually the Kayla face. And Shakira actually has the Leah face from what I remember. But this is the Kayla face. I love the Kayla face. She's very sneaky looking, very sly, very pretty. Um, I believe she's like some type of um, Asian, Amer not Asian American. She's either like um pacific islander hawaiian like she's some type of i think that's like what her ethnicity is supposed to be she's very pretty though um i love her hair her late hair hair color i love this hair that they used to use back in the day is this kankalon i don't know kankalon um, we <laughs> i love this outfit it's very fashion fever very y2k like who wears like a knitted dress slash knitted like this is like knitted slash mesh um, I really like the, the style of this shirt with the little, yes, like it's cute. And I just unraveled that. Oops. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a little bow. Kind of messed that up, but I'll tie it back. <laughs> this is kind of like a sweat, almost like a sweat, um, like a sweat band with a bow. And like, like, look at the fashions. The fashions was so elevated and so like before their time. Just look at how pretty she is. Excuse me. Look how pretty she is. Yes, and don't she look sneaky? Like, she just looks, like, kind of sly. So, I love Kayla. Ooh, and I love her necklace. And her makeup was really pretty, too. Just so you can guys get a little close-up of her. 
Mm -hmm. A little close up of Chrissy. Very beautiful. Okay. So next we're going to try on the clothes. Um, I don't remember. Oh, and Chrissy, you know, came with like her little instructions and her comb. I should have just opened it up because it literally says Butterfly Art Barbie right here. So she came with like authenticity and stuff like that. Even though I already know it was her. <laughs> it's not too many like knockoffs of Butterfly Art Barbie. Like I don't think I've seen that before. But um, okay, so I got three outfits. This is a Fashion Fever outfit. These are, they came in plastic bags. So they came in like good packaging. This is one, I had these shoes already, but I love them. This is another one. This is kind of more like a nighttime slash summer, spring kind of set. It's giving me spring. Mm -hmm. And then this is another like Fashion Fever kind of set too. So these are the three open packs that I want to show you guys. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to release that video for y'all or not. I did a video before this one, and that was the one that I told you guys on my community page. It wouldn't upload. I was having some problems. And then I was looking back at it, and I was just like, I don't know if I like this video. I wasn't really, you know, sometimes when you're on camera a lot, you kind of critique yourself and you you get uncomfortable with like, you know, you're just kind of like, I don't know if I should have said that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure if I'm going to release that video to you or not, but I kind of want to show you guys the outfits also since I'm going to be trying them on i might as well um if you didn't know i got i'm just gonna combine the videos you know what whatever because i still want y'all to see the doll so i had got this location on milan doll i'll probably show her at the end of the video or something but this was her certificate of authenticity she came with like this tuxedo so i'll just show you guys here I might not necessarily put it on. I'll see how I'm feeling as we progress. But um, this was her tuxedo. She came with this um, with this pretty like little um, bathing suit one. And then she had one other look that's upstairs on the actual doll. But I, well, upstairs with the doll that I took her out with. But I actually changed her into like this red dress that I'm, I think I'm going to curl her hair and like take pictures of her and put her on Instagram and that. And YouTube because if you've been checking out my community page y'all been seeing my Instagram pictures on there too and I'm so happy y'all I finally been kind of like balancing it too so you guys can see like my fo my photography and like watch my videos so I'm and y'all been loving my posts so I'm so happy about that because I'm, I'm really passionate about the photography aspect and then of course YouTube so and sharing just my love of dolls with y'all so just just a side note but i did want y'all to see those outfits really quick just so you guys can know like this is the video i had made for y'all about this doll she's so pretty this is another laura scope um and i was just kind of talking about like how i love that like laura is racially ambiguous i showed you guys this one i actually ended up showing you guys my whole laura collection in that video because i was just so excited because i really love laura and she's just a face sculpt that i think looks good in every skin complexion but um yeah so i'm gonna move on from that um this is coco <laughs> i really didn't have a name for her so i just named her coco because she just gave me coco and i didn't really i don't ha i have actual names for all my dolls in my collection a lot of them don't have like cutesy names like coco i have a mimi and i have a um what's me mimi mimi and layla but like mimi and coco like you know i don't have a lot of like nicknames for my dolls like dolls who have nicknames as names so that's why she became coco and of course she's very beautiful and chocolate like coco so i was like okay coco and she just gives me coco vibes like coco jones like she gave me coco so this is coco boom period um i'm gonna have her i think i'm gonna have her try on the clothes i kind of feel bad i kind of want bentley to try on the clothes because bentley's over there with no bottoms on and I feel bad, but I promise Coco. So we're going to have Coco <laughs> try on these clothes. And I think they're actually going to look really good on her. So let's start with the, um, let's start with the, I'm just going to do them in order that I kind of, I showed them to you guys. Because the last look that I showed you, this one is honestly my favorite anyway. And I can't wait to take pictures of these. So we're going to put this skirt on her. Like, look at the details of the ruffled little skirt with the belt detail. Ooh, I can't wait for you guys to see these fashion these fashion packs. I spent like I think like five hundred dollars on them, like total. It was a lot, like it was a lot, cause I I was winning them in bids on eBay, and it was very competitive. But I was like, you know what? I gotta win these dolls because I love like Fashion Fever, Fashion Avenue. That is Barbie's best 
fashion period of time, hands down. You cannot debate me on it. Oh, she looks so pretty in these. I knew she would. It's the curly hair. I miss my curls. I do. I'm bald headed now. But it's okay because they're going to be waving up in a little bit. Mm hmm. Um, Y'all, I might not have a video for you guys next week because Quaz actually coming into town. So if you guys have been like watching me from day one and y'all kept up with like when I was kind of going through things when Qua got really sick, Qua is back in really good health. So I haven't seen him since the hospital and he's coming up here to visit me. He'll be up here for like a week. So I'm really excited about that. So I was thinking maybe me and him can make a video together for you guys because you guys have never really seen what he looks like. So y'all can put it like a face to the name. Qua is like my person. Like he's like... He's like, you know how you have like a man that's not your man, but y'all like really, really good friends. That's that's Qua. <laughs> so he's like literally like a soulmate. I feel like you meet different soulmates. Y'all know I'm real spiritual. I feel like you meet different soulmates along your lifetime. Like not everybody you're meant to stay with. But some people, you know, all soulmates, whether they're good or bad, they all teach you lessons. Um, and all people in your life, I really I'm a firm believer, like nobody comes in your life for a reason. And he's just been one of those people in my life who he pushed me to create this YouTube channel. Like when I met him, so many good things happened. We've always been like that rock for each other in our lives. So like, that's why when he got really sick in the hospital and cause I had moved away, like by then we weren't really together like that anymore. But I was just like, that's still like something I care about. So I have to be there for him and like heal. Him. I just felt like it was in my soul. I felt like I had to be there, to, like heal him back. So, and he's still recovering and stuff like that. But like part of him, like healing, I know like I give him a lot of healing energy. We both give each other a lot of healing energy. So it's going to be really nice to see him again and like just have like this, you know, like be reunited again in a sense. So yeah, if you know, if you remember like who Kwa is, he's doing like 10 times better. Um, he just saw the doctor about, oh, this is really cute. This is really cute. She might actually take pictures in this. He just saw the, uh, uh, some of y'all don't know, he actually ended up losing fingers. He had, for the people that don't know, Qua was in the ICU for like two months. He ended up losing his fingers. He had meningitis, pneumonia, and like septus. It was like, it was really bad. Like it was a really tough time for me. So like I was working, that was going on. He lives all the way in Norfolk where I went to school at. So I was traveling like three hours to go see him in the hospital. And like, I was kind of like updating the people who followed me on here about him. And like, I told them like, once he got well, like I would kind of like, you know, just update y'all here and there. So this is just like my other update. Like he's doing, he's doing a lot better. He just talked to like the plastic surgeon about like prosthetics for his fingers. Cause he lost his thumb. He lost like the tips of his thumb and his, um, pointer finger so maybe you guys will see him if not maybe i'll just make a little video just so you guys can put the maybe i'll just upload a picture on my community page so you guys can kind of put the face to the name and maybe we'll just do that but i did want to make a video with him just because he has good energy and like that's somebody who's really important to me so i was like why would y'all not meet him you know what i'm saying so i'm just like <laughs> but anyway back to this um this is Okay, her hair is kind of like all over the place, but this is how the outfit looks. It's really cute. Like, I wish y'all could kind of see it in person because the camera's not doing it all the way justice, but it's actually really cute on her. Like, her hair is just in the way. But look at how beautiful she looks. Yes. Like, I knew these clothes was going to look good on her. It's because we have, it's because, yeah, there you go. I had to put it like a little further back so you guys can see it. Because I was about to say our difference in complexion and we both got on pink is the camera fighting to see who they trying to get a light to. <laughs> I'm weak, but there we go. She's very beautiful though. Yes. And I love her bone structure. She just gives me like beautiful black woman. Like I love that um, out of all the mermaids, if you don't know, this is the mermaid doll rebodied from the little mermaid Ariel. Haley um Bailey it's Haley Bailey right I don't want to blush that but um this was one of the sisters that play in the movie and I feel like her face actually looked the most like her out of the movie characters I wish y'all could see her in person because the screen is not doing justice to her melanin it's like washing her out but she looks really pretty there you go that's like more how she really looks but it looks really good so anyway on to the next look um so that's a go. That's a keep. <laughs> They're all keeps, to be honest. Pass, 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 pass. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, so 
I'm really excited. So I, I was just telling you guys that honestly because I might not have a video for you next week because he doesn't come up here often. He he's never really traveled. The only time he has traveled has when he he's only come up to see see me one other time before he got sick. So he's you know when we're up here he's kind of traveling, kind of seeing different things, um, and stuff like that. So just in case I go MIA, you guys know why. Okay, this is actually two outfits in one. I love that. I didn't know. So shirt and pants, bedroom set, heels for both. So let's start with the bedroom. Um, if you don't know, I love bedroom clothes. I actually, in my other Fashion Fever haul, if you guys want to go check that out, you guys, I have Fashion Fever hauls, AliExpress hauls, that's kind of like my thing. So you can go check those out. There's other videos in my channel. Um, if I was more like IT, like I would know how to like put the videos up here so you guys can go click them and all that and find them. But I think I can put the links in my YouTube bio. So I might do that. Like, and I'll put in there like other videos to check out for of like fashion hauls. But um yeah <laughs> i have some more of these out there if you want to go look at them so the bottoms don't really fit y'all so the good thing is i have integrity dolls so and they have like very teeny waist so i can put them on them um let's see if it don't fit i think i'm gonna put it on i know the top's gonna fit usually the tops fit yeah so the tops fit the bottoms just don't but it would have been cute. So, mm. It would have been so cute. Yes. Look at the color on her skin tone. Beautiful. Okay, hot mama. <laughs> so, yeah, she would have been really cute. Yes. She's like, period. Okay. Um, let's see the let's see the pants fit. Um, but they don't, you guys know they can fit more than likely on um, regular Barbie with the little waist. Oh, and to be honest, you guys, I just learned how to shrink doll waist. So you know what? Um, I'm going to do a video on that. I'm going to do a video on that. And I'm, and I'm in the process of learning how to do body modification for the dolls as well. Um, so when I learn all that, I'll let y'all know. And the pants fit, by the way, period. And they look so good on her. And the color is so gorgeous. Um, I'll make a video about that so you guys can see if you're interested. But I love shrinking the doll waist so far. I've only done, I did a curvy and I did a, um, and I was supposed to put that on my community page too. And I've been practicing how to paint faces again because I tried before and I stopped, but now I'm back at it. Um, and I was, and I didn't do too bad. They don't do me when y'all, y'all see the picture. So I'll, I'll put all that in the community page, in the community, in the community tab so you guys can see it. And then, um, you know, that'll be that. And then I might, you know, make a video about it eventually when I get better. So this is really cute. Her eyeshadow matches the look. That's another reason why I picked her. Let's let it focus a little bit. Yes, there you go. Finally, her her complexion is adjusting on camera. I love putting her hair up because she's so pretty. Like, she just looks like her hair should be held up. Like, she needs one of those little clips to just hold your hair up. But, yes. Mm-hmm. She's eating it. She's taking it. She's that girl. She's the moment. She's the star. <laughs> I'm weak. She's the star. Period. Okay, let's put the heels on. Because I was doing all that and she didn't have heels on. Heels look a little big for the feet, but usually, I said in my other video, Barbie can kind of wear, get away with wearing anything she's worn throughout her lifetimes. Like, they kind of did a good job of that. It might not always be the perfect fit, with an exception for curvies, but usually with the normal bodies, they kind of can wear everything. So, I'm proving myself right in this moment. Maybe not with them undies, but, you know, that's just undies. <laughs> the outfit fits, though, and she's eating. So that's a good little look. I'm supposed to be doing this quick, y'all. I'm talking. I'm at, like, 20-something minutes. I mean, come on. I'm weak. And the time stamp's probably going to be different because y'all know I did the intro and all that. So I don't know what it's going to say on y'all. <laughs> y'all. But, okay, so let me... And let me... Let me clean up as I go because I have really bad OCD and I'm sorry y'all this room has been getting 
chaotic, a little too chaotic for my liking. I just got a new dresser from my room. We're supposed to be putting it, putting it together tonight. And then I'm gonna get the final dresser to go down here. And then I have a doll, a doll display up in the stairs in my room that I need to move down here now that I'm getting a dresser for myself. Cause I'm trying to do me y'all. I'm really trying to do me. I'm, <laughs> I've been doing these dolls, like literally my money for the past two years has been going to dolls. Like not me, to them. So it's definitely an investment for collectors. Um, this is, this is, people don't talk about this enough. Like it's a very fun hobby, but it's like a hobby where like, you know, you, people, you don't know, not sometimes to sound like when you're like a collector, you know, Barbie's not going to make things again. Like, it's kind of like one of those, you're always kind of trying to get what's new because you don't know when you're going to see it again. And then, you know, the price at that point, you know, that's how they be getting this. So <laughs> you have to really be just cautious about it. And I enjoyed, I um, joined the actual IT memberships this weekend or this this year. And I'm happy that I'm like an IT member now, like integrity member. So I've already, um, you know, got some dolls that I want. So I'm kind of trying to keep in mind of that because, and somebody also asked me this, just, I'm just going to say it here so everybody knows. Um, somebody asked me, was it worth joining the integrity membership, having an integrity membership? I think it is. I'm just letting you guys know right now it's an investment. It's only $50 to join for the year. And I say that's a good deal because you get to see, you have access to all the dolls that other people don't. So it's like, you have the option to say, yes, I want it or no. So I will say that. Um, so this is going to be a long title video because I'm talking about a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so you have the option to like see all the dolls at least and, and get to say yes or no. The only thing is um, you have to keep in mind when you when you see these dolls and you remember you see all the things that they come with and you're like, oh, I got to get this doll. Remember when you get these dolls and you and you add them you got to remember your your price is adding up so i'll just use me for an example um so far since i got my membership i got reina amadi and she's like and keep in mind you get a 50 dollars membership you put a 30 down 30 dollar down payment for the dolls and i'm sorry this is sidetracked but this is just for people who are in interested that want to know um, so you can fast forward if you want to, <laughs> but, um, you get a $50 membership. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to want to know this though. So you get a $50 membership, $30. And I'll probably talk about it in my other videos. I'm sorry, intrusive thoughts, but <laughs> you'll get like $30. You'll put a $30 down payment on the upgrade dolls for that year. And then when the dolls come out, you have to pay the remaining balance. So say it's like a $180 doll, you put down $30, um, you'll have, um, $150 to pay the next time around, right? If you, yeah, right. You'll have $150 to pay when the doll actually ships out. So you got to keep in mind, if you do, if you're, so I'm, like I said, I'm gonna use me for example. So say Raina was like $180. I put down $30 plus my $50 membership. When Raina gets re-released, I'll have to pay $130 to, you know, to the remaining balance. But um, they also can put you on a wait list for like older releases that you missed out on. So for me, um, I didn't get the Adele Makita doll. That's, I don't have Adele in my collection that I wanted. And then it's another outfit set that they released. It was like $75. So when my, when it all comes and I mean, they do ship them out as separate days. They do tell you when you will be expected to pay for like specific dolls. So sometimes you do have those increments of time to like, you know, get money in and like save up for your next purchase. But sometimes they say in the email is subject to change. So, you know, you can get dolls sooner or later than before. You know what I'm saying? So regardless, you're going to have to pay for all of those dolls. So for me, like I'm already looking at like over $200 because, you know, I got two dolls that I put, you know, that's if I get accepted on the wait list. But if I get accepted on the wait list, I'll have like almost $300 I'm going to have to pay, which I know I prepared for. But I'm saying for other people who don't have self-control, you have to keep that in mind. Like you, And that's just, those are just a couple of dolls. We still have the rest of the year to go. And I have a doll, I have dolls already coming that I, I bought from them. So that I haven't paid for because they haven't shipped them out or released them yet. So it's really an investment. You have to have your money right. And you have to be ready. And I feel like if you're going to do integrity, it's very hard to do integrity, Barbie, Bratz. Like, it's hard to do all of them together. I'm doing Barbie integrity. 
And it's because I know how to balance it. And I have my mom to help me because we kind of collect together. So I feel like if you're doing it with somebody else, yes. If you're doing it by yourself, you kind of need to pick one or the other. Or like, you know, just do a little, a handful from Barbie, a handful from Integrity. And, you know, that'll be that. So I just wanted to say that while we was talking about, I don't even know what got me, what made me talk about that, but it was relevant. <laughs> but this is the other look that I'm going to show you guys. And the rest of the stuff is just show and tell. So I'm really just going to be talking about the boxes and the stuff inside. So it'll go by pretty quick. So this is the last outfit of the Fashion Fever line. I think these are Fashion Fever outfits, but this is really cute. I don't know why she her comp it's just something about her complexion it doesn't want to show up as well on camera for some reason but i really love this outfit the most that's why i did it last i love the blue i love the glasses i'm not too fond of the shoes i think they might have just threw those in there i don't know if those really come with her but let's push these glasses up on her head let's do that kind of look because i love that look but i think it's worth the investment for integrity dolls just to get back to that real quick I would do it because I've had fun collecting. I'm not going to lie. I really love their dolls a lot. So, period. Yeah, so that's what that looks like. I love this blouse. I love the brown, like the kind of like put together skirt, mini skirt. Like I said, the shoes is kind of a bust, but it's nothing wrong with flats. It's nothing wrong with being comfortable, girl. Yes, look at her. Looks like a visor with their glasses. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that. Um... Okay, I'm gonna show you guys an order. I'm gonna show you guys my inbox dolls that were also Holy, Holy Grail dolls. So this is another um, Kayla Leah sculpt from Fashion Fever. What's it say? Fashion Fever, catch it now. So this is her. I love her outfit. I love her lipstick. I love her makeup color. Ooh, this just washed me all out. But, um, <laughs> I love her outfit. I love the like the little blouse that she comes with. I love the rhinestone on the pants, the fur coat. And I really just love the tubing in the Fashion Fever collection. Like Fashion Fever is just so elite. Y'all already know how I feel about them. That's why I'm not going to open these up because I kind of want to keep them on camera. Um, you guys know I have a Fashion Fever collection over there. Some of you guys have seen it. Some of you guys haven't. Um, but when, when I get my room done, that's when I'm going to start going into like the actual facets of my collection, why I collected them. I'm going to give you guys an updated room tour. So I got a lot of stuff coming. So yeah. Okay. So this is Kayla. This is the back. This is her cover art on the back. I still really want her. She's, if y'all knew how much this doll be going for, this is like a $500, $300 doll. And I'm talking out the box. It's ridiculous. And it's only because she's black and she has the skipper face mold. Terrible. Ken, he's so handsome. I have this Ken. This is like one of my favorite Kens. He's so freaking handsome. Like, handsome. To be honest, I don't even think it's Ken. I think it's the, the boy that Barbie cheated on Ken with. <laughs> Not cheated on him with, but she left him for him. She did. She left him. This is skipper. I have this skipper. I have this doll too. I believe I have both of them over there in the corner. Um, but I really want her. I think this is supposed to be Teresa. No, it's not Teresa. It's a black girl from the Fashion Fever line. That is, is it Nikki? I think it might be Nikki. I think they never really did Nikki with a, a skipper. Fit. It's a black girl of the line. You know, Fashion Fever don't really got no black girls. It's like, it's like two. It's like three and two of them are the same person. So I think it's that one other girl. I can't remember, but... She definitely was one of the ones that I really wanted <laughs> for a long time. Because y'all know I love the skipper mode. And y'all know I love her brown skin. So, um, Now, this one, I've been wanting her for so long. I saw her for, on Amazon for like 40 bucks. And then I started seeing her everywhere for like 100 And I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are breaking me down. I'm not about to get no $100 Fashion Fever doll. Like, no, I'm not doing it. Like, Fashion Fever packs, clothes, yes. But dolls... No, y'all are not, mm -mm, not for a Playline doll. Y'all not getting me. And the way God has set me up, the way like I know how to manifest things, I've told y'all a lot. A lot of people are surprised that a lot of my dolls in my collection are thrifted. 
And it's because I really, I'm really big on manifest manifestation. If you say something and you want something enough, it will come to you. And when I started collecting, I was going out every day, like thrifting. I really was determined. And I was like, I'm going to find these dolls. Like I really made it a mental note in my head that I was going to find every doll I wanted in the thrift store. So I wouldn't have to pray these like outrageous prices in some way, shape or form. I travel high and low. And I found a lot of them. So, and even online, like I, I'm i like, eventually it will come to you. So my tip for you, and it's in my eight tips for doll collecting video, like be patient when it comes to collecting because eventually you will stumble upon these dolls if you look in the right places. So without further ado, this is Shannon. Shannon is one of the like more hard to find fashion fever dolls. You don't see Shannon a lot. I almost didn't even know Shannon existed. Like, <laughs> like I'm like, Shannon, who is Shannon? Like you, you barely hear about Shannon like out of Barbie's friends. Like Shannon is non-existent. She was literally for this one line. Like I don't think Shannon's introduced in any of the other collections. So she was on Amazon for like 40 bucks for a long time. And I just don't think I was in like, I was like in one of my like no spending and I didn't really have the money. I wasn't working either. So I was like, I can't really, I got to be responsible. I can't get this doll. When I finally started working again, I stumbled upon her again on Mercury for like, I think the same price, maybe, maybe $50. Or I might've had like a credit because I am a seller on there. So I might've had like a credit or something like that. And I put it towards this doll and it was worth getting because she was in box, perfect condition. I know I did end up getting her for a really good price though, but this is Shannon. She is so beautiful, y'all. And like the hair that is on her, it goes all the way down her butt. Like you didn't, you would look at her and not even think she had that much hair. Like her hair is like Rapunzel. It is past the butt. I love her pants with the chain detail, the vest, the heels, like the back. So this is another Laura face. I have this doll. I've shown you guys this doll. She's actually... Um, she's back there somewhere. Oh, she's right here. Sorry, let me just show y'all. So y'all see her right there. That's her right here. Like I have a fashion fever. I have a lot of fashion fevers in my collection. Um, all my skippers, black, white, red. <laughs> um, who else is on here? This is Desiree. She was one of the, like I said, Nikki and Desiree are the same face goal, but two different people. And they're both like the only black girls in the fashion fever line. That's why I can't tell y'all who that other one is. I don't know who she is, but she's cute. And and then mm, Kayla, fashion fever, it's crazy because I've told y'all this before. Fashion fever is one of my favorite lines as far as fashion, but as far as diversity, it is not no color in there for real. Like mm, it's variations of white girls. Like a hand, like in like, like maybe five people of color, including Kayla, who is like, you know, Pacific, Pacific Islanders, probably four. So that was like my only tip with Fashion Fever, but I love this line hands down. Y'all can never make me hate it. <laughs> never. No, <I mean, laughs> like I really just love the line. Like that was just back when she wasn't as inclusive. But to be honest, she was though. I just, I think it was just, I don't know why for this particular line, she just didn't, but it is what it is. But um, yes, I have this doll. I really like this face from Barbie. I don't know who that is. That might be the guy. I don't know who that is, honestly. Um, There goes Kayla. Kayla was a baddie, y'all. Like, come on, look at Kayla. Kayla was eating them up. That's why she was standing by herself. She was like, y'all can't take me. Um, hold on. See, even in this, in these pictures, like it's no black girl in sight, and it's they got Kayla in the back. Ain't that something? Y'all ain't even right for that, man. Tell, but <laughs> and then they all got Desiree at the bottom. Like, come on now, Desiree was eating them up though. Desiree was, she's so cute. Like, if you've seen this doll, y'all know what this doll is. She's cute, but I really love Shannon. Um, so Shannon's really cute. She was one of my Holy Grail dolls. I really love like almost every face sculpt out of this line. So like I said, despite their little, uh, I love the line. <laughs> so, okay, let's, since we're on Fashion Fever, let's continue with them. This is another Fashion Fever look that I found, Fashion Pack. Y'all know I love fur, tweed, cute bag, mini skirts, glitter, right up my alley so this was another fashion fever look this is the back she's eating it up 
Mm-hmm. Um, these are usually expensive nowadays. If you look these up, y'all know these are expensive. So this is another fashion pack that I thought was really cute. I really like the dress. Um, the pants, like parachute pants. Love these type of tops. Love this bow top. Love this skirt. Um, I wasn't crazy about the pullover. Not my style. Uh, and the shoes was all right. But I was really disappointed in because I don't have this. But on the back of the box, she's eating. This is like a two-piece. So, like, period. Barbie used to be a little risque, and I love it. Like, she was giving. Like, come on. My friends always say I dress my dolls up like whole couture. Whole couture. But that's what Barbie used to give. Like, she's eating. Like, girls dress like this nowadays. Period. Love that. I should say people. Because everybody dresses like this nowadays. It don't matter what you are. You better turn it out. <laughs> but um, this is like a sporty set that I thought was really, really nice and colorful. So this will look good in the summertime, spring. Very cute top. Very cute pants with the jean detail, zipper detail. A um, little like workout shirt, tennis kind of outfit. It's a visor in here. The shoes in here was cute. Like, these look like wedges, kind of. These like wedge sandals, glasses. Is that a hat? No, this is like a clear bag. So this one was really cute, too. Um, That's Fashion Fever. Let's go to Fashion Avenue because we really haven't been on them like that. Um, This was really cute. Okay, so as you can see, they got this for like $5.99, $2.99 from the thrift. They sold it to me for like... 50 something dollars i don't know it was a lot but i'm not i'm, I'm gonna be quiet because i'm gonna show you all these prices at the top so y'all can know for sure but i got this stuff so long ago so if you don't see it it's because i couldn't find it but this is like a easter i thought this would be like a cute little easter um outfit it's good friday y'all praise god just wanted to say that because it is good friday so period good friday um yeah and this just made me think about easter sunday so <laughs> This is really cute. I love blouses, as you can see, and mini skirts and wedges. So it's kind of like she she did the same look in like different variations, and I live for it. Um, the bag. I got some of these, which you guys will see. I won't tell y'all which ones. Y'all can guess real quick. Out of these ones, which one am I? Which ones do I have to show you today? I think it's only one of them from here that I got to show you today. Mm. Okay, so. That's Fashion Avenue. Um, Bow. So that was one of the ones that was on the back of the box. <laughs> it was on Asha. Really cute. I love the blouse. It looks like it's silk. I love these platform shoes. These iridescent kind of bell bottoms that like trans fade, like fade from like light to dark. Um, back of the box. I think that's that outfit. Um, so yes, as you can see, it was like $5.99, $2.99. I paid a lot more for it, <laughs> but it's really, really cute. So I love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. This is something different. So I'll do the random ones. Well, no, this is Fashion Avenue too. So this is another Fashion Avenue top. You guys have probably seen this one a lot. I've seen this a lot on, like, Instagram. Um, like I said, I've been had it, but <laughs> that's why I haven't used it. I like to kind of bring stuff back out when there ain't nobody really thinking about it. So when ain't nobody really thinking about it, that's when we going to pop out with it. That's the way to do it. Because I can't, I just don't like seeing too much of the same thing. And then I don't, like, even in my real life with me, I don't even like wearing a lot of the same things when I see a lot of people wearing them. It's just like, okay. We didn't know every time. Like, it was funny. Like, it was this one time I dyed my hair in college. Like, I went blind. Because I told y'all I've been blind majority of my life. So, figuratively and physically. I'm weak. <laughs> but, um, I went blind and I kid y'all not. And this, and I lived in a dorm. I lived in one of the really nice dorms on campus that everybody wanted to live in. Um, and I was like on this, I think I was on the sixth floor of Scotland. And I dyed my hair blind and I kid y'all not, the next week, it was like, six people who dyed their hair blonde it was girls and boys and i was like it's no way we all walking around here looking like blonde bobbleheads like i was like uh-uh no i just couldn't do it i was like no 
<laughs> and I swear I dyed my hair. I dyed my hair like I think the next, like as soon as I saw it, like I think I wore blonde for like maybe a week or two. And I was like, all right, I got to switch it up on y'all because mm -mm. no, no, no. I cannot have this. It was so funny though. I was like, and cause my friends was joking me too. And I was like, I know. Cause it was like, we all, we were like a very specific dorm. Like everybody knew that dorm, like people from that dorm. So it was just funny. It was like, and it's like, we all, it was so, it was like different people from different walks of life. Like it was people like, we didn't even all know each other. It was like random people. And it was like, I guess we all had the same, I guess we was all thinking the same thing at the same time, I guess. But I was like, it's no way I just did this and like six people popped up with blonde hair. It was so funny. But this is a, <laughs> this is another fashion pack um, that is really cute. I got it for Malaysia um, because I flocked her hair baby pink. Um, she's the L face, the dark skin one. Um, and I just knew these co colors was going to compliment her. So this outfit was specifically for her. And of course, you know, my other dolls will wear it as well, but... Yeah, I thought this was really cute. And this is Barbie on there. Y'all know I like stuff that says Barbie. Mm, okay. And now, last but not least, we're going to get into Barbie Beach Street. I didn't know she had a line called Beach Street, but that's what these things are. Like, Beach Street. And then, well, I'll do this one first just because that was like a random one. This was like a random one. And this is like a random one, like a line that I don't necessarily know what it belongs to. This is Barbie Glamour. Yeah, the other three say Beach Street, Beach Street and Trend. So this is Barbie Glamour. Ooh, this is a 40. Ooh, this is like an hour video. Lord. But my fashion video hauls are always kind of long. But um, because I get a lot. I get so many of them. But I thought this was extremely cute. Y'all know I love pink. Y'all know I love blouses. Like, I love this type of aesthetic. So this is very cute. She came with like a comb, glasses. A vanity, a little makeup vanity, like a, you know, what do you call those things? Some kitten heels, some little, um, what do you call those types of heels? Um, damn, mules, like mules. My mom wore mules a lot, like when I was growing up. So those kind of look like mules at the bottom, like kitten heels, a little lipstick, a little nail polish, comb, real cute, like real cutesy. Um, it's like a bow rat one here. It almost looked like she had like a cover up, but it's really just mesh sleeves and this really pretty bag, messenger bag, and like these pink bell bottom type pants. And it just says Barbie. Like this is one of the ones I kind of wanted to keep in pack. And honestly, I think I want to like, like I wanted to make the the um fashion packs like a part of my room. Like I wanted them to like paste on the walls. So that's one another reason why I haven't opened them. Like one of the fashion fever packs was crack. So I'm gonna open that one regardless eventually, but I'm not sure. But I really did want to like frame my room with these. So that's why they're not open yet. Part of it. Okay, but last but not least, I got these three fashion packs that I'm ready to show you guys. So these two are beat trends and this one is no these two are beat street and this one is trend. And these are like Ironically, these are like some of my favorites. So it's kind of crazy. I ended up showing you guys these last. And this blouse is so cute. I'm gonna show you this one last. Okay, so last but not least, and they all come with my favorite type of shoes. I love the clunky, like Y2K, like I love it. So let's get into this outfit. Super, super fetch. Um, We got the clunky heels, like wedges. We got the like, floral skirt not floral but like you know like the little flowy skirt like what do you call it? like the bag lady like the gypsy kind of vibe like the boho like you know what i'm saying like that type of aesthetic with the like you know denim kind of looking blouse we got the like um i got my bag from the thrift store type of bag like all of this came from the thrift store but i wear it so effortlessly and i paired it with some like really expensive heels and y'all not seeing me like, that's what it gives. That's just what it gives to me. Like, my mom made me this belt. Like, <laughs> it just gives me... You know what? It gives... A lot of these outfits give me Gilmore Girls, Lori. And I really feel like I'm like a Lori. Like, I, I just started binging. I'm like on season three. Her personality type is just kind of so similar to mine. Like, I'm, I'm not going to say that part. But like, <laughs> just the way she's just... She's funny. Like, her sense of humor and the way she approaches life is kind of like how I approach life so like that's somebody I look at on TV and I'm like okay 
that's low-key me like i can relate but look at the back of the box like they're all eating like they're so beautiful like yes asha like giving jt real bad love that pretty love this redhead and i really love what barbie got on her pants are the best though i like her outfit the best favorite doll barbie's iconic her outfit is cute too so period so i really like this one I really, and this, I'm doing this in order. This is like my second favorite because y'all know I love brown. It looks really good on my pretty brown dolls. Brown on brown, period, period, period. And it's like silk and it's embroidered, jean jacket, clunky heels. So I love getting like brown items for like my tan girls, brown girls, dark skin girls to wear because it just very, it complements their skin tone. And it's very like a nod to the 90s because brown women were wearing brown lipsticks. Like it, we was wearing a lot of browns. Brown people, were just black people in general, we was wearing a lot of browns. And it was really cute and it just worked with us. Um, oh, look at his handsome self. Speaking of that, with the brown pants and the greens. Like, you know, that's just our color wheel. It, it, we look good in a lot of colors. So, this is Kayla looking real um, street style. Love that. That's funny. Oop, I didn't mean to flick y'all. <laughs> but this, I don't know who this is. Oh, that's Asha. Look that big miscolor her um, face to her. Like, they just threw her on there. She's looking real cute. I love this outfit. Um, oh, that might be Ken. And I oh, don't know. I love this outfit. I wanted it for a long time. I see it a lot, but like, I did not know Barbie was back here with this chop bob. What is going on with that? That's wild, but she's definitely my favorite look. I have this bag. This is so tough. Like, I people dress like that nowadays. People are trying to bring this back nowadays, too. This is very mod. That's cute. He reminds me of somebody I know. <laughs> but, um... Really cute fashion pack. And look at the tassels at the bottom. Like, this was iconic. I had to get this. And last but not least, I got this outfit because it reminds me of something that my mom used to wear. She used to wear very long, like, denim skirts. This isn't denim. This is corduroy. And she's worn... She, this just looks like something my mom used to wear. So, this is really, really cute. I love the blouse. The mint green. You don't see that too often. Um, I love, like, the detail. The belt the purple the embroidery of like butterflies and like um it's just cute like almost like tassel but like ripples at the end the clunky heels messenger bag like this is so boho and it's real cute so i can't wait i i might have to just open all these up i'm not gonna lie to y'all i was going back and forth about it i think i will and i'll get some different ones to frame the room with because they're too cute to pass up on and spring is right around the corner and we just gotta give we just gotta give I need this new closet, though, so we gonna see. I don't want nothing. All my stuff is on froze, on pause until we get this new closet for the dolls. That's how I feel about it. Because <laughs> in my head, I'm like, I'm envisioning how I wanted to look, and I'm like, I need an upgraded closet. Thank you. Um, so that's in the work, you, works, you guys. But this is cute. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that concludes the video. So I haven't done a really, really long video like this for you guys in a long time. So um, like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for joining in. Thank you guys for being dreamers. Thank you guys for stopping by if you're new here. Thank you guys for returning. Thank you guys for existing. Thank you for being here. If nobody told you, you are loved. I'm telling you now, you are loved. Jewel Dream Doll loves you. And you're meant to be here. Um, I sent a message on my Instagram the other day. So I'm just feeling called to share this with you guys. Y'all know I'm very intuitive. So I feel like somebody just needs to hear this. Um, sometimes people are sent on this earth to destroy you. Some people some people are putting you to your life to are come into your life and try to like take away from you and belittle you and like just make you feel like not yourself or not full and like you're not enough. And I just want to reaffirm you that you are enough and that you are exactly where you need to be in your in your life like you're everybody's put on here for a purpose we're all meant to be here we're all meant to raise the vibrations we're all meant to be a community and like work as one and we all also play an individual role in our own lives we choose to come back down here and live this have this human experience so that's just my belief but i feel like we're all meant to be here and i just want to let you know if nobody's told you that you are loved you are meant to be here and you have a purpose in this world. So don't ever let nobody one up you. Don't ever let nobody make you feel like, you know, you're not that girl. 
Cause you are. And when I say girl, y'all know I mean like in general, it's, it's a gender neutral term for me. It's almost like the B word, period. Cause you are that, yeah. So I just wanted to come on here and say that cause I don't know who needs to hear that. I feel like some people watching me, um, you guys know I'm like very connected to y'all. So I feel like some people watch me and I know I brighten up y'all's day and y'all brighten up mine. I do this for y'all just as well as I do it for me. So, um, don't just y'all heal me just as much as y'all comment and tell me like I heal y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. So I really appreciate y'all for like picking me up when I'm down and like, um, just uh, allow me to cre even create this safe space for y'all and for us to enjoy it together. So I just wanted to say that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching me and, um, I hope you have a good day. Good night, good morning. Whenever you're watching this, if you're eating something good, um, comment below because <laughs> I love food. But all right, see y'all.